Kenya Kwanzaa administration will revisit the COVID billionaire saga and recover all public funds flagged as having been lost. Deputy President William Ruto told off their opponents who had questioned his stand on corruption and related activities. Ruto citing the report of the Auditor General who questioned the use of over 10 billion Kenya shillings, which had been earmarked for the purchase of supplies to battle COVID-19. Now, the Deputy President spoke during a campaign tour of Isiolo County, where he pledged to address insecurity that affects the county and also access to water. Chamutai Goin tells us more. The hunt for votes in the arid county began in Merti, Sericho and Kena before a major rally in Isiolo town as the leaders wooed the residents to back Ruto's bay to succeed his boss. <laughs> The DP was constantly being on the receiving end from his opponents who accused him of tolerating corruption and individuals with questionable integrity, saying his opponents should account for missing COVID billions. Don't preach to us water while you take wine. Tell us where 10 billion shillings meant for sick people in this period of COVID in Kenya, where the money got lost. IMF na World Bank wanatuambia bilioni sitini na tano imepotea katika serikali ya handshake. Bilioni kumi ya COVID billionaires imepotea wakati wa handshake. Wewe bwana kitenda wili na watu yako ya kuzimia. Kabla hamutia tubiria mambo ya ufisadi mutuambie wale wa shirika wenu wakubwa Ruto saying the Kenya Kwanzaa administration will revisit the COVID billionaire saga and bring to book all the culprits. Tumesema kama Kenya Kwanzaa, we are going to deal with chronic corruption that now is called state capture that has privatized public services, public institutions to serve individual and selfish interests of individuals in the Republic of Kenya. Pesa ya wa Kenya razima mutarudisha. Pesa ya corona razima mutarudisha. The Kenya Kwanzaa government is going to establish a Kwanzaa Judicial Commission to investigate economic crimes and state capture. Wale wametumia ofisi yao, wametumia Mamlaka yao kuharibu uchumi ya inchi ili wafaidike wenyewe we are telling you there will be a commission allies of the dp also revisited the flopped bbi push putting their counterparts on the spot for supporting the initiative whose proposed revenue sharing formula of one man one shilling one vote would see a reduction in the equitable share located to arid and semi-arid counties which naturally have lower populations including isiolo don't elect cowards isiolo kama hile bbi Si mwajua BBI? Si BBI mwajua? Isiolo inapata bilioni ine. Huyo mzewa kitenda wili. Alisema kupitia BBI. Lazima isiolo wapungiziwe pesa. Sisi tukupitia amri ya William Ruto. Kule bunge ya Senate. Na bunge ya kitaifa. Tukasema BBI no. We cannot vote the kitenda wili man. Because he was at the forefront, together with his handshake partner, to introduce a revenue sharing formula that was denying marginalized counties their money. The DP claiming some leaders in the region had ditched his camp due to threats of sanctions, saying they were still barking his bid, albeit silently. <laughs> Kwa sababu wanaogopa kuniunga mkono mchana. Ati, <laughs> ati wanasema, ati wakiniunga mkono mchana, ati kuna kitu wameshika shika wanaweza kupeleka kwa kotini. Lakini mimi nauliza nyinyi, 
The deputy president pledged to revive the leather industry to create a market for cow, sheep and goat skin as pledged in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. Over the next two days, the Kenya Kwanzaa caravan will be stationed in Marsabit County. As he endeared himself to the over 89,000 registered voters in Isiolo County, Deputy President William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate vowed to prioritize the issues affecting the region, including insecurity, insufficient water and pasture for their livestock. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, Isiolo County. Right, after a comprehensive look at uh, 